Hey, you guys. <laughs> I know. Good morning. Yes, this is Miss D at these special things. And guess what? I was up. <laughs> I am so trying to do what I used to do. And <clears throat> my voice is real hoarse because for one, it's early morning. And then for two, it always has been. <laughs> Hold on and don't look at the spot on my rug. I'll be right back. I know you guys, I need to learn to edit because I need to stop doing this to you guys. Um, oh, so you guys saw me when I got up. Okay, anyway, I can't even worry about that. I need my coffee and it's not even hot now. But it's early morning and <clears throat> it's Sunday morning. <clears throat> Sometimes every now and then my voice, my throat. Um, hold on. <laughs> Mm -mm. I don't like listening to myself. I don't like hearing me. Um, <laughs> so I don't watch my videos that I do prior to. I probably should. There's <laughs> probably some stuff in my videos that I've said <laughs> and should have edited or said it wrong. Or, But, you know, that's neither here nor there. I guess I just feel like chattering this morning took my vitamins, but I didn't take my, hold on. Oh, let me look. I need my gummies. <laughs> and then I'll take my other ones after I eat. But, oh, and I gotta see if I have any more of these. This is not good. <clears throat> but I need. Um, yeah, pretty much that's all I'm taking now are vitamins, mostly, except I have an anxiety pill that I don't take and a, I used to think when people said that they took anxiety medicine, it meant a bad thing <laughs> until I found myself taking it. I always felt like everyone has anxiety, it's just at different levels and it's also how a person actually handle their anxiety you know you know if you have anxiety and you know what triggers it you try to stay away from that i don't know i just yeah but anyway i don't i don't like taking pills for anxiety so i could pretty much so far calm myself <laughs> Uh, maybe I shouldn't tell you guys this. One day I went to Marshall's and one of my, something that triggers my anxiety is um, driving. <laughs> and the worse the condition, the worse my anxiety. Like if it's, if it's just drizzling a little, that's okay. But if it's raining, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I have to turn on other things in the car, like, uh, the windshield wipers, well, the lights are always on and stuff. It's too much going on around me. It triggers my anxiety. Yes, it does. So I have a hard time driving. I don't, I hardly ever drive. Yeah, but anyway, that's neither here nor there. I have been driving to craft stores. So <laughs> that's horrible. But I just wanted to chit chat with you guys because right now, obviously, until I do so many hours of just regular time they won't let me go live or is something i did wrong i think i have to change something in my profile i don't know but you know what i do videos because i just want to um uh capture my journey i want to one day i'm gonna just listen to my videos when i'm laying there and can't do anything and i'm gonna listen to you guys chat back and forth and yeah uh none of my lives i don't think anybody could see any of my lives i'm gonna have to go check again because i think those 
where the videos they took away from me. And gosh, it was a lot. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. <laughs> I'm just, I don't know why I'm even explaining what goes on behind the thing, you know, with the algorithm and all that kind of stuff. Because for one, this is fun for me and I do it because I like to. And um, as long as it continues to give me joy, I'm going to continue to try to do what I always did. But I told you all not to look at my spot on my... Oh, there it is. I'm just showing it to you. I shouldn't have shown it to you guys. <laughs> on my um, rug. This rug is coming up. Matter of fact, when I first came here, we, I was going to do all the rooms. But things just got ahead of us. I still have three rooms I need to do. Take the rugs out and get the floors refurnished. And uh, as I do this room, I'm transition. I mean, I'm, I'm clearing it out. I'm trying to clean up stuff. I am getting there, okay? Little pieces at a time. Right now, matter of fact, the stuff that I have on my drawer right now is stuff that I have over here in these bins. And I'm trying to straighten them up. If I need them in here, I'm going to keep them. If not, if it's something that I don't use a lot, I'm going to take it and, and box it up or package it up and put it out in my she said if it's something that I would use in the near future uh well my tiny house that's another story y'all follow me okay <laughs> um hold on for a minute I like sucking these gummies like candy mm. <laughs> but anyway you guys those are the two medicines the vitamins I remember to take in the morning the gummy and the liquid one that you just put under your tongue. <laughs> I'm ready to take those. But then the other ones that I have to swallow, mm -mm, not so much. <laughs> mm. But anyway, you guys, what was I telling you? <laughs> I feel good this morning, and I think that's why I wanted to, you know, just jump on and uh, do a video. I did put up my um decorations on my fence and on the front of my porch i haven't taken a picture of it yet because i still want to put them around my two trees i want to put lights there i don't want it to be overwhelming i don't want it just a lot of stuff i want it to be a theme and i wanted that winter wonderland look i have a angel and i think she's moving her wings but she's playing a flute. And she's in those, I think she's gold, but she's in clear lights. I got to see if I have to put that thing together because I asked my nephew if he would come and put it together and him and his girlfriend. They wanted to do it last night, but I don't like working out there in the dark for any reason. Uh, for one, I keep telling y'all where I live. <laughs> so let me stop. <laughs> but anyway, um, I mean, it's, it's off of Main Street that I'm not comfortable with, so hey. But um, anyway, yeah, I uh, I just don't like to be, I don't like to be out in the dark. <laughs> not even with someone. <laughs> but anyway, you guys, I am, I know I'm, I'm giggling, I think, <laughs> believe it or not, I think my vitamins make me feel like this and then too i think all of them is supposed to give me energy and um you know i don't know but anyway i take them um loyally every morning i hate it when i miss it because then it throws me off it totally throws me off because two of them i only take on the weekends i take every week and the other ones i take Shoo. And the gabapentin, I don't even like taking it because it frogs me. It slows me down. Hold on for a minute, you guys. Um, I I was working on some on a project here, and that's what you see this stuff here that I pulled out bins and stuff. I think I got this stuff from Walmart. Walmart. I think I just recently got this stuff because it's just hoovering around like nobody's business maybe not 
I don't know why it's here, but I'm going to organize it and put it somewhere. And put it in this perspective place. I have enough. Oh, yeah. I don't. I don't have a whole tray. I think I'm going to put them in a tray. Of, hmm, I need to get a white skinny one. I know I'm all over the place, you guys. But I think my camera is going to follow me. It does because you guys see my, um, my feet. But anyway, I'm going to try to change this as much as I possibly can. But then I'm going to have to label stuff because that's my promise this time around. I really am going to label everything to make sure I um, know where everything is. I have to come back in here. And I was like, why do I have this over here? But, um, oh yeah, I needed to see. Because I saw another box over here. And then I stopped and started playing with, oh gosh, that's not cool. Okay, I don't I think I made this was a class I did way back in and it's funny because it's made out of paper. Look what I found. And I think I, I just did the class showing how to put it together. <laughs> I taught my sisters how to make these. I took and, and then you put stuff in it. And now have you guys seen them? Somebody I actually ordered uh, one of these and sent it to my niece. It's called a cinder cake. And you open it up and all these butterflies and stuff come out of it. My uh, daughter, uh, my son's wife, she sent me one last May for Mother's Day. Yeah, she sent me one and I opened it up and all these butterflies came flying and out. It keeps giving you these um, warnings about, you know, please do not just open, sit the box down. It tells you all that. You got to read the box, right? And, um, I opened it up and I immediately started crying. I'm so emotional now. It's not funny, but I immediately started crying. Um, yeah. <laughs> and I thought it was so sweet. I was like, look, <laughs> I had to call my sisters crying. Yeah. Okay, but anyway, you guys, I sent one to my sister on her birthday, and she didn't read the label in it. I was going to send one to my um, daughter, uh, my husband's daughter. She's pregnant. Yes, I tell you, I am blessed in so many ways. Oh, my gosh, the best news ever I did not tell you guys. Yesterday at 1.30, I had a baby girl. <laughs> I am now a great nana. Oh my gosh, they are so, my daughter, my son, my daughter, they are so tired of me. My kids are so tired of me because I can't stress enough how much it feels, how good it feels to be a great nana. I mean, I'm, I was a nana. <laughs> Oh, and I'm getting ready to be a nana. My, I was getting ready to tell you guys that. See, I told you I was um, so all over the place. I was telling you guys how blessed I was. My um, granddaughter, she made me the great nana. And my husband's daughter, she <laughs> will be having her baby in May. So I'm going to be a grandma again next year. <laughs> this year she got pregnant and uh oh yeah i just my life is full you know my life is just so complete <laughs> i'm gonna be a great nana you guys yeah but anyway now uh my sisters have to listen to me talk about the um the feeling you get and they wouldn't understand it because no you'll have to wait your turn <laughs> I know that's selfish, but that's just me being facetious. Nothing serious. I'm just so, I don't know. I can explain to you why that, the great part. You know, I'm just not the nana. I am now a great nana. I don't, that makes me feel good. It's four generations of us now. So, and, uh, <laughs> yeah, and her name is Ivory. <laughs> Oh, this tickles me, and I always did love that name, though my name is Johnson now. 
Um, it is ivory art. Yeah, it still is on some paperwork. <laughs> did I say that out loud? Yeah, I kind of did. But anyway, yes, my name is officially Johnson. And, um, yeah, but anywho, I am just as happy as I could be. But today, you guys, I am actually, I wanted to finish my Winter Wonderland decorations, but we're getting a rain storm heavy storm stuff this uh this when today this evening round about noon is coming <laughs> but yeah we're gonna get a rainstorm and uh it's gonna rain all night and tomorrow is gonna be just great so my niece my nephew and his girlfriend they're coming over tomorrow and they're going to Help me put up the angel in the manger. I did put up the rest of the stuff on the front of my porch already. I can have skates on it. I think it really, I think I'm really capturing that winter wonderland. I don't want a lot of stuff, but I do want you to get the picture. And unless you see inside my door, which I have open a lot of times, do you get it? But my neighbor across the street got it. So yeah, because she came by. <laughs> She came by to see what I had going on. So, yeah, she got it. So, yeah, I like that. She understood it. So, I said, okay, those who don't are just think I got some likes up a few. I'm not putting up a whole bunch um, because I have to take all that stuff down and put it back. <laughs> I was going to do my, the front of my tiny house. I was going, well, this is my tiny house, too, for all of you who don't know. I'm living in a tiny house, uh, and it's been great to live in a tiny house because I could do to it what I want in a little bit of time. I have so much stuff in the house. I actually, yeah, it's been a work in progress, and right now I am trying to, and my whole, okay, we're, I can't even go there. I was going to say the entire she shed, the hubby made for me it is totally full but i'm getting ready to remedy that but you should see how much stuff i have in the tiny house in the tiny house that tiny house is the new house that i purchased and guess what it is legally a tiny house so i have to bring that to code which means I have to put it on a slab. I have to put it on a foundation. Yes, I do. <laughs> Ouch. <sighs> so now I have to look for a concrete guy or anybody that's in this area. And for for, bleh, for all of you don't know, I'm in the Newport News, Hampton, Newport News area. Um, Virginia. Yeah, that makes a difference. <laughs> Yeah, if you're in this area and you know a, a concrete concrete contractor and even an electrical plumbing person, because I also have to, <laughs> I knew this anyway, have plumbing and electrical run over to that house. And, woo, it's a lot. <laughs> so... What I'm going to do is, I have a lot of stuff out there now, and I know. Oh, I also have to move it. <laughs> you guys, this is killing me. Yes, I also have to move it. Um, because, and I know I keep laughing, but that's to keep from crying. Uh, I have to move it because it's supposed to be five feet from the side of the boundary line. And that's my fence. And at least five feet from the back. I don't know why I didn't tell that guy, okay, go over five feet, because where he backed in at, he left it on that side, and he said, he measured it, and he said, okay, it's it's about five feet, about five feet. He said, I could move it over just a little, and I was like, eh, don't worry about it. Hello, did I know that mattered? So I have to have them come back and move that five feet from that fence. I have to have the guy, the people at the building place, send that same guy that bought it to move it. But I have to have a foundation put down. 
finished. Well, lucky me, I have a huge yard. And that was the advantage of even getting that, what I thought would be considered a she shed. Okay. Um, but <laughs> because of the structure of it, and I guess if it had, because it is only a 12 by 28. And if it, I think if it had the garage um, doors, I think. I think it's still after. Okay, so what happened was when the builders bought the house to me, they had to get a permit. <clears throat> but the permit was only to bring the house to me. That means they had to get a wide load permit. You know, somebody to be in the front and the back of them because of the size of it, right? So they have to get the city to have somebody, you know, do that, right? Well, they bought it to me. And then after they bought it to me, here comes the inspector at my door. <laughs> and he, he told me, he said, okay, I see that you you have your, you have a, whatever this is. But he didn't see a permit. And I said, I didn't get a permit. And I said, I think the building company does that. And he said, nope. And sure enough, long story short, because I don't feel like a long story. Well, not about a building. Um, long story short, I needed a permit because the building was more than 256 square feet. It can't be bigger than that. Uh, no, even if it was small, if it's a structure that you build outside of your home, <clears throat> they account for that square footage. So, <laughs> yeah, you, they have to account for that square footage because they assess your property according to what's on your land. And, who are for the structures because that building was over a certain, over the 256 square feet, I needed to request a permit for a building <laughs> what yeah i actually put a building <laughs> on my land so now it, it it constitutes as a a person could live in it yeah and they said as long as it, it's a structure and it could be sustainable <laughs> i was like are you joking me and i was under the impression that i could call it a Whatever I wanted to, after a certain square footage, it, it constitutes as a building. So then I had to get a building and a zoning permit. But now, okay, I got the permit and I have to correct these things. Like I have to move the tiny house. I also have to move my she shed because it's too close to the back side of my fence. But my contractor should have known that, right? And... That's another story, okay? But anyway, we'll go. So I am, I spoke with one of the um, reviewers and she pretty much is helping me along the way to get done what I need to get done because I else, how would I know this? This is not my level of expertise. That's why, for one, I ask all the right questions. I just understand now how things work. This woman that sold me this house, she's a seller. She sells these homes. <laughs> so, of course, I asked her all the right questions. So, some of them, I guess I wasn't, she gave me vague answers. Like, oh, sure. Oh, yes. No, you don't even need that. Uh, anyway. Mm hmm. As I'm getting stuff straightened out, I find out that I need a, a foundation on my house. So I have enough room to build the foundation and then just have the house put on the foundation. So I'm, And then I have to have it anchored and everything. Um, and then at the same time, I'm going to move my shed, my tool shed. It's an 8 by 10, but it's too close to the... It's too close to... The back side of my fence so I am going to just move it where I actually have my 
tiny house right now. I know this is boring, right? But anyway, that's not here or there. I am actually cleaning up over here so that I could mm, um, put stuff away. These are little books. I remember buying these and I would put them in people uh, packages or either chits when they order them for me because they make great little journals and you get 15 of them now if you like using them like that because all of them have a different affirmation i guess remember to be happy yeah be happy be the one you want to be never give up i say those are uplifting affirmations huh live at the present there's so much to be happy about is this reading backwards to you guys? Because this is the first time I've set up my um, space like this. I actually went and got one of these little teeny desks. They said it was a small area desk, but this has got to be this. This is for a my grandson. Yeah, and he's eight. And this is probably too little for him, which was perfect for this little space that I have over here. I needed to put stuff here because I moved all the stuff that was over here because it really made me feel boxed in and it wasn't a lot of space but then I had a lot of space on I mean a lot of stuff on either side of the room and uh I got all of that out but now I'm taking stuff out of the out of those little cubbies and it's back in the floor, but I'm putting it away. So I'm going to work in here today because it's going to rain starting, what, um, noon? All the way until tomorrow morning. So tomorrow morning, I'm going to finish doing my winter decorations. I did get part of the outside winter, I mean, the lights up. So that may be nice. I need to plug this up because I changed this number. And I'm going to use it for a different, you know, I'm going to just use it for an extra number. Yeah, so I'm cleaning up in here. I'm actually, I have everything set up the way I want. I think I'm going to set up, I actually have a, what is this right here? I remember getting this for Christmas last year, and it has set for all that long. It's a. Uh, you guys, don't look at my skinny legs. I think I'm going to cover them up so y'all can see. <laughs> I know y'all hear me. What is this? An internet microphone, you know, and it has, I don't, I can't even pick it up, but why do I have another microphone there? I, I don't want to pick it up because I don't want to. Let's see. Yeah, one of these, and it makes sounds and all that kind of stuff. I, <laughs> I know. I think. I think at that time, anything I said I was wanting, hubby was just clicking the button. Oh, you want that too? Because that was the year I got my iPad. I got the, the big one. And it's, yeah, it gets a little cumbersome to um, carry it or hold it, especially for me because I still have neuropathy horribly, <laughs> really bad. <laughs> Um, in my hands and in my, you can see it this morning really well. And my, yeah, I have it in my hands and in my um, feet. Yeah. Ooh. And the feet are no joke. But anyway, I am trying to gather all my stuff up in likeness, you know, together uh, so that I have some kind of. Shoo, understanding of where stuff is. But as I go along, I promise you, stuff like this, I'm going to start putting together in kits that people would really like to put together and they don't want to go out and buy, you know, a whole pack of these and a whole pack of something else, but they want more than, you know, two or three of them. And I could put kits together that would serve them just well because I have a lot of stuff. For the most part, some most of it, because I, one thing I used to do a lot of times is when I purchased something, I would use it before I put it away. And this past year, even the year before, because hubby and I were both sick, um, I was purchasing stuff. And so that's two years of, of really not using any or a lot of, I'll say. I might use a product or two, but... 
for the most part, I wasn't using a lot of that, um, the products that I was purchasing. So I'm going I'm to get back to uh, doing that. I want to do what everyone else is doing, but I've never done that before. <laughs> no, but I, um, I have so much other stuff. If I can, if I can, I can do it. I could watch what someone else do or what that, that trend is that particular time and use what I have. And that's probably what I will do. Um, yeah, I'd rather just use what I have and Oh, I just had this good idea. Okay, and I get those a lot. And I need a notepad on my desk again for those reasons. Because sometimes I'll think of stuff. I used to write it down and then go back to it. I need to designate a book. I have found some and I'm actually using them. For this year, all my planning, my notes, all that kind of stuff, I'm going to kind of try to set up. Because you almost have to set up a plan, a, a way, well, you know what the planners are for. A way to, that you're going to do something, what you, how you're going to use a product. Even if somebody show you their way, if it's not what you need, then mm, nah. But anyway, you guys, I told y'all about my nasty rug. And that's coming up one day. Um, the, right now, I have to finish outside. I have to finish my shed because I've started a project that, oh, yeah, now I got to do it. So, yeah, hopefully soon I'll have someone. I do have someone coming over to give me an estimate. Um, I'd like at least three of them. And I do have a electrical plumbing guy. And another possible one um, for my, yeah, for electrical plumbing. Because they have to go under the house, dig, I mean, trenches and do con conduit wires and all that. I don't know. They know what they do. I don't know why they tell me because I look at them and say, okay, you just need to pass the inspection. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> So I have to get that done. I, um, it, sure, all of it is a waiting process, and I want to just blink my eyes and I hope that everything could be done. I'm pretty much finished with um, the outside construction part. You know, doing I did my deck, I put my gazebo up, I did the pergola, I did the tool shed. I'm done <laughs> with outside now. The maintenance with that because half of my yard on one side I actually made it I had little pebbles small pebbles bought in I want a garden you guys you know what <laughs> I'm going to tell you guys how far I got with the gardening and my neighbor next door she would show me what she'd do I thought she had really inspired me at one time and I went on Amazon and ordered a little greenhouse mainly because for one my niece's husband he got a big real one and i was like oh i want a greenhouse so i i ordered one i ended up ordering two and gave one to my niece because i was like what how did i i think i ordered one from lowe's and then ordered one from amazon no i by the time i did get it put up the thing was so flimsy i was like what <laughs> i think i paid more for that greenhouse than I care to even mention and it was the flimsiest and it's out there so I put it back up one day because the first day it fell down <laughs> and I said this sucks don't I don't want that I could go get PVC you know piping and all that and make a sturdier greenhouse than that right <sighs> well I didn't feel like it I right now you guys I try to use whatever help I can it, uh, because I'm not that, I don't have that kind of energy anymore. So right now I want to do my crafting. So I'm going to have to get somebody who is actually, um, oh, I got another, oh, I got another thing of those right here. I know I just got up, left you guys right there. <laughs> it's funny, but I'm actually going to upload this video. I didn't upload the one from yesterday because I didn't want you guys looking at me. And I didn't want to go back and edit my video. And I think my, my head was a mess. So is it right now. It is right now, too. But I got at least a... You can't see them. 
but I have a scarf on at least this morning, but I just don't want you to see me. But anyway, let me put this down on my desk some more. Uh, cause I was showing you guys, you guys were seeing all of me, but anyway, yeah, I, uh, so sometimes I don't feel a lot of times I have to pick and choose what I can do. And that's what I do. Uh, because when I call somebody, I really expect for them to do it if I have to pay them to do it. So yeah. Um, but the guy came to do my lawn cause they couldn't get into my backyard cause I had to. Okay, that was another story. But anyway, I called him and asked him why he wasn't coming in my backyard. And he came out and he talked to me. And then he moved the side of the fence that I needed moved because, duh, me, after the people came and put my house in my backyard, they had to take up the, um, you know what would be soothing this morning? Some kind of, oh, peppermint coffee. Yeah, I need to get some peppermint this morning because I've been talking to you guys for how long? Oh, 35 minutes. It seems like longer than that. But my my voice still feels like I just woke up. And tell the honest goodness truth, I've been up since five. I'm waiting for my grandbaby to wake up so that I can see how my great <laughs> grandbaby do it. Oh, gosh. There I go back to that. I'm so happy, you guys. But anyway, and truly blessed. And every morning, I can do nothing but thank God because he is really, gosh, he sent me angels. He had, I, oh, my gosh, I have angels all around me, all around me. Um, But anyway, you guys, um, yeah, I'm going to, I don't know when I'm going to tackle my, <laughs> my, uh, closet behind me but i do know a lot of that stuff in there is just oh yeah i think it's just stored in there i probably need to get in there and see what i'm gonna use and see if i need to get rid of some of it take it out oh well, i can't wait to get in there but anyway and that's a full closet you guys and i can't i'm not even gonna show you guys behind me <laughs> But anyway, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to, I didn't know it was 30 minutes. And I know if you don't listen to this entire video, um, I'm just going to try to come to you all randomly until I can find out what I did uh, or what I have to do to start doing live streaming. I know it tells me I had it to authenticate something. And I didn't do it. And it's probably why I can't. But anyway, um, I think I have to start my... Watch time over again. Yeah, because I still have some of my subscribers <laughs> left. Yeah. <laughs> wow. But anyway, you guys, um, I am going to, uh, well, I think I lost the bulk of my subscribers when I changed my channel to not for kids. Because kids were watching my channels. And then, too, <laughs> I remember... I remember during the summertime, man, the kids would bombard the uh, crafting community channels with all these mean, this mean stuff. And sometimes it was the the other content creators. <laughs> I call them content creators, but the other crafters because they felt like you. Oh, it, it was funny back then. That was fun time when you look back and think about it. Some people did get harsh. I think from watching videos hey do y'all hear that that is literally the dog next door to me he is big like do you guys know duke on the beverly hillbillies uh it was ellen may's dog you hear him you hear her that's her name she probably hear me she could probably hear me talking she is a what kind of dog is that? Oh, she's the exact same color as uh, Duke on Beverly Hillbillies. But I don't know how many. All you seniors. <laughs> I call you seniors. <laughs> All us grandmas and nanas know what I'm talking about. Oh, no, he doesn't. He sees two dogs coming down the street. Okay. He barks at anything he's not familiar with. But... 
I mean, I say he, she. Oh my God, she's big like Ellen May. And I think she's only a little over a year, but she's this big old tall. Is it a great day? Is it a hound dog? She is a hound. That's what she is. Her legs are taller than me. <laughs> she is the cutest ever, but she knows me. And her parents says, uh, you know, they, he did tell me that. He says, she knows you very well. She'll watch me. <laughs> She'll just look. If somebody come to my door and I'm in the back, I can't see in the back unless I'm looking at my camera. And a lot of times I don't even have my, my phone out there or my iPad. She will bark and I'll know somebody's at my door. And sometimes I forget she's barking because somebody's at my door. And then I'll go and packages will be on my step. I said, oh, okay, that's what Ella May. Her name is Ella May. She is the cutest dog. If I ever had a dog, I would like her for my dog as big as she is. But whoa, she's too big. I couldn't walk her. I couldn't do anything with that dog. That dog is huge. And her voice, y'all heard her bark. You had to hear her bark because that's how loud her voice is. But yeah, some dogs. Somebody was walking their dogs. And uh, I guess he had to say good good morning. <laughs> but yeah, I found another box of these. They hadn't been opened. But yeah, I like putting these in little packages and stuff. Putting a little bow on them. Even doing so many of their pages. Like going in, putting little words. I'm going to do one one day. Because they're the cutest, easiest things to do. But I need to put these somewhere because I haven't used these in a while. But I know where I'm going to put them. Because they're going outside. Because I haven't um I haven't used those and I think I have some other ones I was using in here. But anyway, you guys, I'm going to try to get as much stuff out of here that I am not using right now and have a uh, stuff around me that I use a lot of, you know, and um that I would use across projects and not just for one specific project. So I will have to set my Warm up like that. Look at all my Barbie dolls. I remember when I collected those. And I guess I'm happy with the amounts that I have. Because um, I think three or four of them. They were sent to me. Um, and uh, yeah. I started collecting them. And then people started. They would see them in my room. And I, I got a few of them for. You know they were gifts. Uh, so I love the Barbies. And. Each time I tried to collect Barbies for my daughter, I collected everything. The girl was like, she would lose more pieces in a little bit. And my granddaughter, I bought her the entire Barbie, as much of it as I could afford to get. <laughs> Collection, oh my gosh. And no, that was the wrong answer because she hates Barbies. <laughs> and I think it's because of me. So, you know, I do have some that I like. And I, now it's funny because as much as I used to like them, because I used to make clothes for them and house pieces and, yeah, furniture. Yeah, stuff like that. And now I just collect them and look at them. And right now I think I have enough. You know what I did run across? Uh, people would take Barbies and change them into Beyonce. Did you know that? They could paint the skin and make it you know, another color, change the eyes. Oh my gosh, when I read, I don't even know what community, I know it's in the crafting community, but I think it's, if you delve into the Barbie stuff, you'll see what they're doing with the Barbies. They actually take some of those Barbies and some of the ladies actually make them look like, I mean, they could take the hair out and dye it or put real hair in and, woo, it's, it's a lot. That right there, my fingers, I would have had to been doing that because my fingers would not allow me to do it now. And I struggle with that right now. But I've also learned to set up things. I purchase a lot of stuff over again because, for one, the stuff that I used to use that was basic, that wasn't like, ooh, cut this die or whatever. Some things I want to go back to that traditional way of doing things. Um, and it's because it's easier on my hands and at the same time, it'll give me exercise. This card was here and I promise you, this number means absolutely nothing. I needed to use it for um, a 
So don't try to look at that number. I'm like, oh, do I have to go through and blur that out? This number is not nothing. Because you have to be, yeah, my husband. I need to not ever do that again. Put stuff in front of the camera. But I wanted to use this. I should have blurred out the watch come uh, for my, um, y'all know how you do. Yeah, but anyway, let me blur it out. Yeah, in a minute. I know, right? But anyway, that's nothing. Uh, I am going to let you guys go because now I'm probably into 40 minutes. Somebody already told me. Uh, I am not watching 40 minutes, 45, not even 30 minutes. So you sitting there rambling because you do that to us all day. And, you know, that had to come from these sisters. <laughs> but anyway, you guys, I'm getting my room together. I'll show you as I get it together. And at one day, um, one day I'm going to come do a video and I'll show all of me, which I'm not ready yet. Okay. But anyway, you guys, I'm going to call that a video. I can't show you projects that I'm doing because I am working on for real, a Christmas village that I have not been able to get back to. I don't want to, and I need to finish up some ornaments because I need to attach them to some gifts that need to be sent out of here before I go. Um, so I'm going to work on that this week and hopefully I'll get them done. If not, ah, it'll just be some late Christmas packages going out. But anyway, you guys, I'm going to call that a note because I keep saying I'm leaving. And when I start, when I finish cleaning up this area, I can actually carry the, can I? Yeah, I could put the iPad on this thing right here and hopefully carry it around because it, it slips out of my hand. I've dropped it a couple of times. I actually have a, um with the iPads, you, you know, it has that, it already has a protective covering over it. So if you break the glass, it doesn't, you know that. But I put one on it anyway, and it's just like the glass. So when I dropped it, it just cracked the end of that glass and not the end of the iPad glass. So double protection, I guess. But anyway, you guys, on that note, I am hanging up on you guys. And I'll probably do a video later because, like I told you, at 1 o'clock, it's supposed to rain. I made chili earlier in the week, and I ate, like, three big probably no i ate it for three days <laughs> i didn't freeze it so now i have to go throw that out i was thinking to myself i need to make some more chili but you know what sounds even better lasagna and this time when i make it i'm going to freeze it i'm going to make it i'm gonna put away what i want to freeze and i'm not gonna make such a big pan of it or I could easily send some to somebody, but I'm not doing that either. I'm not making food to send away. I'm going to make enough for me because I went to the store the other day. I wanted somebody else is walking their dog watch because Ella Mae is barking again. Mm -hmm. But uh, <laughs> I'm going to have to take a picture of her one day. I know I'll get in trouble. I shouldn't do that. I can't do that. That's their dog, but I love that dog. <laughs> Uh, sometimes Ella may be looking at me like she just going to jump over the fence because it's funny that she is so well trained. Yeah, but and she won't jump over their balcony thing. And it, it is just their porch, their front porch. It has a, a seat on it and it's like a edge. And she could actually get on there and, and just bark over the ledge, but she would not jump over. <laughs> Y'all here? I know, right? Okay, on that note, I'm going to have to say, um, bye. And Ella Mae is saying bye to y'all, too. That's a shame. I done took the people dog. <laughs> the dog is in my... Let me see. He's letting me know. And somebody is coming. Somebody is walking their dog or either walking themselves. Because it's a lot. Oh, yes, it is. A man is walking his dog. Yeah, okay, so Ella Bay will probably bark all morning because it's the weekend, and, and, and on the weekends, uh, everybody walks their dogs. Did everybody got a dog? I don't think so. I don't think everyone has a dog. I know those people do, those people do. I don't think that man does. And then the people beside him, they have a dog. And I don't know if the people next to them have a dog. I am so nosy. This, <laughs> I have become the little Miss Kravitz across the street from the, 
What's her name? On oh, Bewitched? <laughs> oh, that is so nosy, but that's my life, right? <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to get those, all of those um, brushes that I came across and found someplace, some little jar, because I got bunches of coffee cups in here. And I'm going to see if everything in them is something that I could use or if it's just stuff that have dried out. I'm going to throw it out. Yeah. And then I'll come back and show you how, how I did that. I don't know if they'll be the next time, but it will be. All right, you guys. This video was almost an hour. Woo, it's going to take me forever to upload this. All right, you guys. I'm going to holler at you later. Bye. <laughs> Oh, you know what? Before I say bye, and I know half of y'all unclicked off anyway. Um, thank you to my new subscribers. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, hey, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe because sometimes I don't have anything to talk about, and this is what I do. I just come here and talk, okay? But once I go live, hopefully, when I figure out if I can go live again, hopefully, I'll be able to, and I will start going live um but i'll have to figure out what that's all about but anyway you guys uh thanks for the new subscribers thanks for just you my subscribers the ones that just popped up when i came out i love you i appreciate you i thank you and um go through this journey with me because i promise you this is all a part of it <laughs> i am everywhere Yes, and I'm trying to get stuff done, but I also realize that it's keeping me, it's keeping me going. It's keeping me keeping, <laughs> yeah, because, um, you know, sometimes I do either get so exhausted, you know, um, just from trying to do everything, or I'll get so exhausted emotionally because I'll try to go forever without feeling those emotions that I feel and then one day I just have this emotional spillover you know if you may and uh yeah it'll get it'll just get the best of me I have some wooden pieces like that penguin like that what was that I think the shoes the witch's shoe the gingerbread house the reindeer I need to make different ones because those are so outdated because I know they took the tree this year and made it a gnome. I need to do that. <laughs> I do. I need to do that. Um, what else did they do? I don't know. But see, here I go thinking about stuff that I need to do. But this stuff, I'm figuring out how to house it over here because I want to use it. I never use my sari ribbon. This is sari ribbon. That is some kind of Indian silk, I think. If And I'm, I haven't even looked this up in like, forever but i love using it on my journals on my scrapbook pages on my projects you could use it like you would um however you use your what's that stuff that ah jesus i have rows and rows of it and i know i'm, I'm gonna start getting rid of that because i used to buy it um after christmas from this was it a fabric place or just a thread company? I don't know what it was. I have to look to see if I can find some more of these establishments to see if they're still around. Because this was way before COVID or, you know, woo, um, way before craziness too, you know. And seam binding, that's what it is. I even have some. Do I have some here? And I will wait until, oh my gosh, yes I do. I'm going to have to do, that's going to be another video because you guys, this is how I would buy it. And I remember, I remember, this is how I would buy it like that in those rows, the 100 yard rows. Yeah, 100 yards on each of them. And, oh my gosh, I think for a long time, what we used to do is groups of people that would swap and trade and craft together. And we would be in different groups and stuff. We would actually order stuff from AliExpress. This is before you could order individually. Somebody had to have a business license and, you know, blah, blah, blah. But then all of a sudden, you know, they figured it was easier for them to get. It was it was more advantageous because it was making more money if they did uh, individual sales with just individual people, which is how AliExpress came about for us to buy any and everything we wanted. And it did not make the crafters 
really happy at the time because now we were able to get the product that they were getting for the price that they were getting and not the price that they were charging us. So yeah, that worked out just fine, but it also gave me an opportunity to buy any and everything that we were using or I wanted or I needed or, I, and we did that for years. So I have a lot of that stuff and those right there, I would buy from some company in New York. Yeah, and you buy them by the bulk. The more you buy, the cheaper they were. Um, but I have so much of it. And I know I still have some in storage. I can't wait till I get to my storage. But anyway, I have long stories to tell you guys. And I might just cut this one in half. All right, you guys, I'm going to holler at you later. This is just me rambling on. But I will probably come back and do another video. Yeah, because that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to make me, I think I'm going to do the lasagna thing. And then I'll come back. I'm not going to eat on the cam on camera, but <laughs> I'm going to make my meal today. Oh, yes, with French garlic bread. No, I don't have any Italian bread. Oh, I could use steak rolls. <laughs> I know, right? But anyway, you guys, I'm coming back because I'm getting excited all about the wrong thing. I'm going to clean my house. I'm going to finish cleaning up because I started. And then I'm coming in here because... Let's see, it's a few things. I'm working on my village, but I'm going to have to put that whole village in my craft, in my tiny house, because it's. I ordered more, and they came in this great big box, because I think I ordered 10 or 12 more houses. And was it Michael's or Joanne's? One of them sent them in this great big old box. And yeah, they came, and nothing was damaged. But anyway, I'm going to put them out in the garage and decorate them one by one and bring them in. I have the trees and the little houses that I made. I'm going to try to get them painted white or green or fluffy them up, put the little sparkly lace, whatever, on them. I want to really show you those, you guys, because I haven't done those in a while, and I don't know who it was that I saw their video. Okay, that'll be my next video because I'm doing the the houses and stuff too and i'm making them so i'll have to come back and show you guys because they're cute 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 and all you need is some cardboard <laughs> yeah if you want to just do it while i'm doing it um yeah all you need is some cardboard and not much more but anyway you guys i'm going to call this for real this is going to be a done deal this time <laughs> uh thanks for watching everyone bye bye